Welcome to the Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner Calibatus Life Cycle Series. Today we're going to be tying a Calibatus Spinner. One of my favorite patterns during a spinner fall, especially up on East Lake. We're going to start with a Daiichi 1180 hook, 6 aught tobacco brown thread, micro bets, a wild turkey biot, UV dubbing and pale olive blended, and a natural guinea feather. So let's go ahead and get started. I've tied my thread on the hook and we're going to begin with a guinea feather. So I've divided the guinea feather to expose and just the tips and I'm going to collect those tips together in a in a uh, in a manner to pull all those tips forward and then I'll tie this on the hook right at the two-thirds point and clip off the excess. I'll wind over the butts and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tie in front of the wing with several wraps right near the base of the wing to elevate this. From here I take my scissors and I'll split the wing and I'm gonna post actually I'll figure eight the wing first and then I'm gonna post each wing segment. So you can see those wings are separated nicely and lie flat on the water like the natural insect. From here I'm going to take my microfibets and I'm going to select out four microfibets and clip them off. I'm going to go ahead and measure probably about two and a half times the length of the body. Then I'm going to clip this off right back behind that little hump I left with the, the wing. And from here I'll tie them in right at that butt of the wing. I'm trying to level that section out as I move forward. I'll take one wrap underneath the tail and then I'm going to manually split this tail with my fingers. Pull two segments to each side and then I'm going to take the thread at a 45 degree angle underneath the near tail and I'll bring that forward to split them. If you noticed I also spun the bobbin just a little bit to create some body on this thread and so those those tails will split better for me. So you can see that nice split tail that that leaves. From this point I'm going to select a natural turkey biot and I'll clip that off and tie that in by the tip again right at the back of that little hump. I want the opaque side back and I want the shiny side or the uh, translucent side forward and you'll see that when you uh, examine a biot real closely. So now I'm going to bring my thread all the way up to the wing. Place a little bit of glue. I like to tie a biot into a bed of glue so that we won't uh, break them off by trout teeth when you uh, catch a nice trout on this fly. So let's 
attach the and we'll start winding this forward attach my hackle pliers and I'm going to wind it forward all the way to the back of the wing in consecutive wraps you can see the nice segmentation that's happening and I'll tie this off and clip the excess. Next I'm going to take my dubbing which is a blend of olive and tan UV and it creates a really nice um, image on the fly on the water. That UV dubbing really stands out and captures and refracts light. So I'll spin this on the thread and then I'm going to take wraps coming forward. I will actually figure eight the wing with the dubbing material and then in my last several wraps I'll tie off right in front of the wing and that helps permanently place that wing where I want it to. And I'll move right into a whip finish from here and I'll whip finish with several wraps and and go ahead and use my scissors to uh, um, bring the loop up to the the fly and then we'll clip off the excess. So there you have it. That is a Calabatus spinner and it's a great fly. I use this quite frequently on East Lake and, and Lava Lakes and Hosmer and others when we've got good Calabatus hatches going on. You can see the profile of this fly as I s spin it around in the, uh, in the vise. So that's your Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. Thanks for watching.